So apparently we already got confirmation of a Disney World. Star Wars. Yeah, it still feels weird saying it. So a lot of people on Twitter are going crazy over this. They've been comparing this forest to the forest in Endor. But honestly, you just need to take one good look on the top right corner and... Yeah, that's an ATST. there's no denying it. However, we got an unidentified plant, flower, sap, whatever. And that's like not present in any of the movies. And I've seen people saying that this is actually the damsel flower from Legends. I mean, sure, I guess. But I don't know, I'm not really convinced on this. But what does have me convinced is that ATST. So yeah, it really feels like Star Wars is a lock, which uh, is a little disappointing to me, just because there probably won't be an appearance of Treasure Planet. I doubt we're gonna have two space teams. But then again, Treasure Planet was not likely anyways. But yeah, it still hurts. Also, I'm a little disappointed on the planet they chose, Endor. I mean, come on now. I'm not trying to fucking fight alongside Ewoks. <laughs> No, 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 get the shit out of here. I don't want this. I don't want this. But yeah, it makes sense because it takes place during episode six, literally light versus dark. You can't go better than that. And yeah, they probably chose that just because that's the only chance you can do a Darth Vader boss fight. So yeah, I'm all, I'm all for that. And of course, lightsaber keyblades. And cringy dialogue from Luke Skywalker. Yeah, don't forget, Nomura's still writing this shit. But yeah, let's go back to that flower. Like how much creative freedom is Disney giving Nomura? How many new living organisms is he going to introduce? And how much of that is going to be actual canon in Star Wars? We'll just have to wait and see. But my best guess is that this flower is actually a collectible. And you need to gather its nectar to obliterate the darkness within you. I'm just fucking with you. 